Hi guys, this is part 24 of my giant resource on linking your existing digital planner, notebook, templates to Apple Calendar and more using shortcuts and automation. Anyway, I thought I'd create this quick video. Um, this is about uh, your Mac because I know somebody's going to ask me if you can do it on your Mac. And just a couple other tips that would be helpful. So this would be beneficial to watch at the end when you're done watching if you're following along. So whereas I didn't um, set up my camera to videotape on my Mac because I don't want to right now. I'm trying. I've been filming for so long. I just miss my normal routine. Um, I took screenshots. So I'm filming the screenshots. So yes, you can do this on your Mac. I mean, obviously though, like on your computer, what is that? Oh, um, you can, um, on your computer, I mean, you have everything accessible, right? You've got your everything. You have your calendar, you have reminders, but yes, this is what it looks like. So you can see my planner, right, on my Mac, and you can see I have, um, this would be add view all is the icon that I have. And you can see it asks, it's the same thing. That's what it looks like. Do you want to run this link? And then I selected yes. And then it shows you just like um, it does on your iPad. What do you want to do, right? This is what it looks like for adding calendar event in your uh, good notes on your iPad or on your Mac. And then this is what it looks like for reminders. If you want to add a reminder. And then this is pulling all of your events, your calendar events. And then this is pulling your, uh, what it looks like if you pull your reminders. So, I mean, it does work on your Mac. The only thing that wouldn't work is um, if you have it set to slide over like some of the shortcuts uh, have something slide over. Slide over feature is not available on your Mac, obviously, because you ha can have multiple windows open at any time you'd like. So um, yeah, so I just wanted to show you guys that so you could see it. And then I wanted to show you some other helpful things um, just about the shortcuts now that we're done with the filming. <clears throat> Excuse me, I am totally losing my voice. I never talk. I mean, like, I might sing when I'm working, but I I've, I've, haven't talked this much for years. Anyway, um, some just important things that you can do. One thing, you can change the names when you're done. You can change the names of the shortcuts. You can rename them, but just remember what? Oh, yeah. Just remember that when you change the name of a shortcut, you need to change it. This is so crucial. You need to make sure it's changed down here. You can duplicate shortcuts. Um, so if you have the shortcut, you just would select the shortcut and then click duplicate. Um, my only tip with that would be, so when it um, duplicates, it adds a space and then gives it a one. I would just keep all of your names together, no spaces. Okay. And then also just make sure whatever you, um, this, the name down here matches up here. Um, let's see, what else did I want to tell you? Oh yeah. Yeah. Delete. <sighs> let's go into anytime you're in a shortcut that has, um, the menus. Okay, you can change the names, right, of these. It's fine. So, you know what? I'm not. I'm going to change it on mine. I'm not going to change it on the prompt. Um, hang on. So, add a calendar event. So, let's just say I wanted to say, have it say, add, add an event. I can do that. And then when you change the name here, it will change it here because this menu, so this add event is right here, and then these are the actions that go along with it. So with that said, you can also move these around. So let's see how I move view reminders to the top. Now view reminders is on the top. So you can do that, that's totally fine. Um, you can change it to be whatever you want, okay? 
you don't have to worry um, about it screwing up or anything like that. It's fine. You can always reinstall it if you'd like. Or one thing that I do, and this is just a little tip, is if I am going to tinker with um, my shortcut, I usually duplicate it first. So that way, if I do make a mistake, I can go back to the shortcut and be like, what did I, you know, so that way I have a mass, like a master copy. Okay. So yeah, so you can play around with those things. And um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much everything I wanted to let you know for tips. But I highly recommend you watch my next video, the troubleshooting video, because that gives lots of information. Thanks guys for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope I've been helpful for you. Have a great day. Bye.